Cousin. That was Fusion, the Snow Bangle, this is Dante, the Chow Chow. Uh, Bengals are very high energy. And I've looked online to buy a cat wheel, uh, which are extremely expensive. So I tried looking for instructions, do it yourself instructions, um, on how to build one, and there isn't very much out there. Uh, so we're going to attempt doing it ourselves. We've looked at a few uh, pictures of different bases and what people have used uh, for the spinner to make it spin. Um, so we have some plywood here, a sheet of plywood, fairly high quality. Uh, it's not a chipboard or whatever, so we don't have to sand it or finish it. <clears throat> I have some other pieces of wood that we're going to use for the base. Um, don't be on that. So we had a bar stool. We have two of them, uh, swivel bar stools. And we don't really use them in our new house because our old house had a kitchen counter. Um, kind of like a breakfast bar, and the kids used to use the stools to sit there and eat. Uh, <clears throat> we don't have that now here in our new house, so we decided to take it apart, and we're going to use the spinner from the bar stool. Seems pretty sturdy, um, so we'll give it a shot. side of the wheel we're going to use my uh, yoga mat because I don't use it for yoga. <laughs> so for the outside um, of the wheel we bought this veneer which bends easily. Fifteen bucks each. So on the plywood we've measured four feet um, and drawn a line. We're going to cut that. One half will be the back circle and the other half will be the finished front on the front of the circle. Okay, so we've cut the plywood in half and put the two pieces on top of each other. I believe that Eric has gone to look for a piece of string so that we can measure out the circle. So we found the center of the board. <coughs> and put a little screw in there with the string. I'm going to use a pencil to mark out the circle. We've also attached both pieces um, of wood together at all four corners so that we can make one cut with two boards. Alright, so that was definitely the most time-consuming part of it. Uh, we had both pieces of plywood together so we could cut out the same size circle at the same time. We also put in um, <clears throat> another circle inside here, which is going to be the front of the wheel, which will cover up all the pieces and make it look like a finished piece.
you just making a starting point? Yes. Okay, so. That is the front piece. Apparently I'm going to take a Dremel, is that what you call it? And sand the edges. And what are you doing? I have to make the uh, little flat pieces. Oh, the pieces that stick up. Yes. Here. How and long are you making them? I'm making them just over 12 inches because we have 12 inch wood. Right. And because we want it for two cats. Right. Okay, so I finished sanding um, both pieces on both sides and the edges. Didn't take very long. It wasn't very hard, but it was annoying. Right. Okay, so Eric has cut out these pieces. from that uh, piece of wood that you saw him measuring earlier outside. Okay, so I went to Canadian Tire and got some hockey tape, black hockey tape, and we decided to finish the um, front piece with that so that the kitties wouldn't uh, end up getting splinters after it's been used for a while. So, I got that much done with one roll of tape, and we're going to finish it off and start putting it together. I think this is where he needs your help, guys. Not this, I'll hold that. Okay, so we're going to put those pieces all the way around. And we'll come back when it's almost finished. Okay. So he's using a nail gun to attach them initially. And what did you say you were going to do? Okay, drill pilot holes and then... Screw it. Uh, we've seen stuff online where people used brackets. And this is a uh, cat wheel on a budget. So we don't <laughs> we don't want to spend the money on brackets. Uh, definitely helps when you get uh, pieces of wood from your contractor friends, leftover jobs. Uh, we also borrowed some spray adhesive from Eric's mom to you use just Eric. They don't know Eric who. 
find out. We've got the twins helping us, right? No, you're not helping. Are you helping? Yep, this is the most they've helped so far. Mom did all the sanding. Dad did all the cutting. Dante, inside. Dante. Are you drilling holes in every single one of them? Yes. So that it doesn't split the wood. Yes. So you're putting holes in there so that when you put the screw in, it doesn't split the wood? Mm hmm. Alright. Good to know. For a staple, that is. Yeah. Wiggle this one. No, wiggle that one. <laughs> Doesn't wiggle. <laughs> hey, man, I already sanded that. Hey, man, is this the least? Yeah, it is. Int. But you wouldn't know that. By looking okay, at your shoes. Put <laughs> it there. I'm do four still. Fun? No. <laughs> it's going to be fun for the kitty cats. That is all screwed in. You guys did make sure it was the right width before you did it, right? Yep, that's pretty darn close right there, right? Eh? Hanging over a bit on this side? Nope. Covered all the way around. That's the one. Tape really helps it a bit, eh? Mm hmm. If somebody want to do this, will I go around behind them and drill in the screws? You're good at it. You've done it before. Doesn't it have to be this so it's a little bit inside. Uh, I'm actually going to put a little bit more forward that one than that one. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. You want to go along behind me and drill the holes? Just the spot? Yeah. So we attached the top piece with the nail gun, and now we are screwing them in. I'm going to cover the screws with more hockey tape. So we're Canadian, eh? Everyone, put it 
the emotion. Need a couple more. One more. Is this what you can run on? No, it's the outside. So uh, what's going on on the inside? Same stuff. And then my yoga mat. Yeah, I have something else on it. This is what you did. So what we found out was the veneer that we bought uh, was not very strong and it cracked in quite a few places. Also, the one package wasn't enough for the whole outside. I had to use two. Can you bring me down a couple of those, at least one of those sheets? Yep. Once he cut out these holes, the overall weight of the wheel is now drastically changed. It's so much lighter. So what Xavier and I did was we went to the Home Depot and we got this for the insides. What is it? It is hardboard. Eighth of an inch by 24 by 48. Um, I at Home Depot gave us a hand figuring out how many we would need. We bought three sheets. They're 24 inches wide and we need 12 inches. So we we're gonna cut it straight down the middle. And I'm hoping it's gonna be a little bit more stable for the kitties to run on compared to the veneer. They had thicker veneer um, at the Home Depot when we went back, but it was $20 a roll and I'm not willing to spend that much. These sheets were $2 each. And he gave me some free carpet. I don't know if we're gonna use that yet or not. So, Now we are going to build the base that it will sit on. Um, this long piece here will be at the back, laying flat. Uh, <clears throat> right now he's trying to attach these smaller pieces to the end to build kind of um, a U-shaped platform. Okay, so this is the base that he has built so far. We're getting rid of you. Go away. Explain to me here what you've done. Basically, I'm just building the brace. I'm putting these blocks here. Okay. Right? And then yeah. I'm going to screw that to here tighter. I just got to figure out a way to make it less wobbly. 
couple more screws and in the legs down there. And then this will sit on here. Oh no. Right? Okay, yeah. Shoot, I gotta make this a little smaller. So that I can get at these screw holes. Right. Well, unless I just move it up, and I can just do the top. Okay, move it there, turn it. Move it there, turn it. Screw there. That'll work. Right. If I can move it up. So why do you have all these? Just to give it more weight? Yeah, and more support, because this is going to get screwed in up here, right? So I don't want to just pull it off over there. Right. So this is getting screwed down this way, and then I'm screwing this into this way. Okay. Okay, so it's pretty much finished. Um, I took the veneer off of the outside because it was really crappy. Minus this little piece right here. Um, with the three pieces I bought, we had enough to do the complete inside and most of the outside. We can use scrap pieces, but we ran out of screws. So we'll finish that up another day. Right now I'm going to vacuum all the sawdust out of uh, the inside and on the hockey tape and then I'm going to use a spray adhesive and try and affix my yoga mat as a runner on the inside. Okay, so we cut my yoga mat in half right down the middle and I think it was a standard size mat, and minus this much, uh, it fits completely inside. Alright, you just gotta glue this one down. So, we're just going to use the spray adhesive to glue the second piece down. Spray and, it on there and, there, and then we'll, we'll just do sections. Boom, we'll be done. He is already investigating. Uh, he's curious. Kitty. So what we have so far, Eric has um, reinforced this block. Are you already in it. He was yes, already in it, and he's attached this to here. So now I need to help him as he attaches the wheel to the spinner. Do you know where the release all is? Yeah, I mean, yes I do. That might be too heavy for that spinner. I hope not. Well, that's why I was thinking the bike wheel. I just don't know if you're going to be strong enough to move it. Um, you have one more screen? No, not on me. Finished, and we're gonna see if he likes it. Come here. Come on, Fujin. Come on.
going to say just to pick them up and put them in it. I'll let them sit in it. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> Keep it up there. Come on, get it. Here you go. Here you go, Katie. Come on. You need something just hanging right, just holding it right here like this. Mm -hmm. Come on, get it. Come on. Yeah, you get a piece of cardboard and just make it tight, stick it in there, right? <laughs> All right. Now you make sure it doesn't go too fast until he gets the hang of going around it. This is going to make him strong. Here you go. So now all we have to figure out is a way to attach a toy to keep him interested and we don't have to stand and hold it. Until he gets interested in just the running aspect of it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we are going to find a piece of cardboard or something to go in the inside on the back just because he does seem to be curious um, and wanting to go through there, be it from behind and come in that way, or be in there and go out that way. And with another kitty coming next weekend, we definitely don't want one in there running and one behind trying to get in. Other than that, it is completely finished. Uh, we spent maybe a hundred dollars total. Uh, we started around 9.30 this morning. We took uh, several breaks because it's our day off. We don't want to work too hard. And what time is it now? 4.20. 4.20. We are done. And the kitty has gone in on his own. Yay, Fusion! There you go, kitty kitty. Awesome. So it'll take him a little while to get used to it. And in a couple of days, I bet you he will be toning those muscles. Just ripping around. don't think it's strong enough for the dog to use. He is quite a bit heavier. See? But he you. is already strutting the strut on his cat wheel. You like your cat wheel, Fujin? Yeah. Yes. You're going to send that with the Ange? Yeah. So he has decided to just start ripping around. Uh, like I said, I think it's going to take a little while for him to get used to the way it kind of swings back and forth and <laughs> how fast you can run. <laughs> it's 
That's awesome. So less than a day, maybe a hundred dollars, maybe a hundred and ten. I'm not really sure. Still, much better than the five or six hundred dollars you would pay online, plus shipping and handling. And you're gonna have one well exercised kitty who will be all pooped out at the end of the night and let you go to sleep.